from Paso Robles. I hope you guys are excited to join me on an adventure of food, wine, and fun. Let's go. First stop, lunch at Artisan. Okay, so great brunch menu here at Artisan. I went with recommendations, so I'm going to do the pan-fried abalone, which I've never had before, so I'm excited. Then the highly recommended Dirty Reuben, you Dirty Reuben lovers, and the mushroom toast. All right. So you know I like my first, so I'm trying my very first ever celery mimosa, and it totally tastes like celery juice, but I love celery juice, so cheers. I feel like I'm getting a little, some health benefits with my champagne. And next up, Alta Colina. So now we took the car up to the very top. So this is all mountainous. This is really great because this is a family owned vineyard and winery, less than 10 employees. So you have a couple people doing a lot of work and it's one of the smaller ones. So we're getting a real personal family feel and it's just amazing. Can we talk about views? Oh my gosh. So right now it's December. So she's sharing with me how they prune them. And then right there. And then a cane next year growing up like this from there and again right here. And we'll see some action again in March. But can we talk about this view, you guys? So we're gonna do our tasting now. And if you stay on property, you can do yoga in the morning. And it's beautiful on camera, but I'm telling you guys in person, just oh my god. Mother Nature! Sort of okay, so here's what we have south. going on. Ooh, a petite Syrah. I love my. Ooh, Sun Worshipper, that name is amazing. So this is honestly like the most perfect setting for wine tasting. We have photo shoots with honey going on. And right now I'm drinking the Sun Worshipper while basking in the sun. So this is so serene. You guys will absolutely love this. And cheers. Tweet me awesome pictures of you drinking wine. So next stop, we're at Refines, and we're gonna be drinking some handcrafted spirits from Paso Robles' first craft distillery. What are you pouring first? So we're gonna start with our basically our cornerstone, which is our refined vodka. Um, and this is basically a 100% grape-based uh, spirit, uh, grape-based vodka, um, produced basically by being sustainable in our vineyard practices, uh, recovering juice that used to be thrown away, um, turning it into uh, a rosé originally, and then distilling it four times, turning into our grape-based vodka. So there you go, rosé lovers. <laughs> Another thing to do with wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking it at that next Okay, time. I'm going in. Okay, you're going in. This so is 40% alcohol, 80 proof. Cheers. Okay, so new obsession. This cucumber flavored <laughs> vodka. You guys, it's like literally spa water, but with a kick. So two thumbs up for this. You guys have to try this. <laughs> now fourth thumb. Yeah, all the thumbs. Yeah, this one is pretty okay, fun. So this is great. This is technically a vodka, but it's gonna taste like a whiskey. I have my guinea pig. Tastes like whiskey. It tastes like whiskey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's, that. An that's awesome. Yeah. I think yeah. that was a little uh, diet coke. The steam so. jacket. It heats up the uh, the alcohol. The alcohol vapor actually passes up through the helmet and over to the condenser. The that's vapor. It's you're basically using the different huh. boiling points of liquids to separate out the uh, the alcohol. Wow. How much fun are we having so far? So ran back to my hotel, Paso Robles Inn. I'll give you more deets in a bit. But right now I'm gonna run to Art After Dark. Did a little change. Let's go. And here we are, and I love it because it's December, and so there's going to be a parade coming through, and everyone's lining up.
all that art and that awesome time lapse, I've built up an appetite. So we're going to Via, Via Creek. I heard it's awesome. So we're kicking things off with a pumpkin and chorizo soup. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing there or not. Now we're doing the seared scallops, basil risotto, and grilled apples. And yes, please. Today, of course, we're doing the beef, shortbread, celery root mash, the Italian salsa verde. And look at these little pomegranates on top. It looks like a little. Like, kiss me under the mistletoe. Should I get close for you guys? Can you see? Is that enough? And then with this room, we get our own hot tub with the natural mineral spring water. I love all of these Firestone Kale, Walker's Reserve, Double Jack. And then a wonderful balcony with a view of all of the property. Gorgeous. So what's great about the Paso Robles Inn is if you get one of these wonderful winery suites where you have the tub on the balcony. Each one is unique. So ours is Firestone. And for example, we have Tablas Creek. So it's really great. So let's go explore the property. So here's this great tree. That's where my room is up over there. And there are all these wonderful areas to sit and just have a moment for yourself. I love this bench with the tile detail. And look at this little stream running and that little bridge over there heading towards the pool. And over here, you can see that this is the chef's organic kitchen garden. The food here and pasta, or some people So the food is so fresh and that's because it's grown right here and then it's truly farm to table. And here's the back of the property. And there's a great steakhouse, there's a bar, you can get breakfast here. So you pretty much don't really have to leave the property, but because it's so close to the town, you should. And the town is so friendly. There are all of these great parks and green grass and just wonderful places to hang out. And along the square, it's full of restaurants and such cute shops. Say hello, Rob. Hello, December, and this little general store looks so cute. Love this. And here's where we're going for lunch. Okay, so this menu, I love it. It's so unique. It's got that Spanish flair. And I think I'm going to do the huevos espanol. So three poached eggs, manchego cheese fondue. Yes, please. And they're setting up for a live band. All right, we're getting into the shrimp and scallop ceviche with plantain chips. Loving it. Okay, so great lunch. Now, yesterday we explored the Adelaide area and we're on our way to Ten City. And this is going to be the new hot spot here in Paso Robles. Or, you know what? I'm just going to start calling it Paso. But we're Ubering. Be safe, you guys, when you're visiting wine country. And our fabulous driver was sharing how, you know, you don't need to go to Napa. Paso has amazing wine, it's so much more affordable, and the people are so kind and want to talk and want to learn. So guys, this is where it's at. Okay, we've arrived at Ten City and we're checking out Onyx. Let's go inside. So I love this. You have a great fountain, wonderful table, barrels, making new friends. Say hello. I told you guys everyone's friendly and then a really wonderful outside patio. All right, so tasting, uh -oh. what are we having? So up first is L'Autre Femme. In English, it means the other woman. The other woman. I love that name yeah. and the label's so pretty. <laughs> so now we're inside. Like in this so this is, so like, for example, other people use your facilities to make their mm -hmm. wine and do other things. So that's why yeah. you're going to say, like we rent out there. our production facility. Yeah. Look at, guys, how many barrels do you think this is? If you would guess. This is so fun being in here. Okay, so this is a bladder press. So Tin City, this is such a cool area because everything's so industrial as you guys can see. So now we're gonna go check out some cider and it's nice because you can come, you can park or get dropped off and walk and really do a lot. And let's talk about that foliage. Okay, so we're at the Tin City Cider Tap Room and there's lots of action here. I believe we're stumbling upon a little Christmas fest. Let's investigate. 
Uh-oh, And it is cider time, so we're gonna be doing a flight here. Let's go. Believe it or not, after all of that cider deliciousness, we still have stops to make, so we're going to Wine Shine Distillery because after you drink wine cider, you should clearly drink liquor. Yes. Next stop. Yeah, I don't think okay, so. Okay, guys, yeah, we're, we're at Wine it. Shine, and we're about to get into this. I love this. It's gonna be fun. Big Grandy, let's do it. Let's Glasses do it. Our set. <laughs> so I requested for Rob because he is. A whiskey lover, so we're gonna try whiskey right out of Ten City. Just reading some T-shirts, guys. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right out of the barrel. Yeah, there you right go. Right in his mouth. Do it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna taste whiskey straight out of the. Out of a barrel. All right, here we go. Uh -oh. 130 away. proof of pure oh, joy. Damn. Open your mouth and close your eyes. I'll give you a big surprise. <laughs> I feel like I'm like Tarzan. I'm like, ah! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. yeah you're the Come on, dude. You gotta do it. Because girls from South Carolina know how to drink. Ready? Like this. <laughs> oh my god, that's like a great appetizer. Oh! <laughs> to believe but we're gonna eat some more so hubby and I changed because it's cold outside and now we're off to dinner. Dinner is served. Let's get into the details. I know you guys want lots of details. And the sauce? Should I go on the sauce? Yeah that looks good. So Rob just said he has a dad boss but this is banana bread and oh. Do you guys want some? A little nib. So one of the great things about Paso is at so. night there's like no one out and we're just laughing because we're so full. We're trying to talk about it, but there's no one really to listen to us. We have the whole town to ourselves, like literally. Except I have you guys. Okay, so it's not just about eating and drinking. We've driven about 20 minutes to Santa Margarita and we're about to zip line, so do a little something different, action packed. And good morning, it's early. So I love the inside, it's all nice and festive. And then we're learning all about how this is connected to nature, and that is the condor. And we might, we might see one of those guys. Keep an eye out. All right, we're loading on the bus for our adventure. It was just us, because that's how we roll. All right, time to get harnessed up, he'll demonstrate. All right, so I am all suited up, and we want to talk. Midline rescue, <laughs> and I got to tell you, I'm way too old and fat to do this. So I'm gonna have one of the younger guys do it. Uh, there you go. Just in time. Just in coming out and this is the bridge that we're about to walk across. Oh boy, now I know why he said people get scared. <laughs> oh yeah. Just like a walking on a trampoline. Now we're at the last one that these views. Oh my goodness. Now we're gonna be going that way. And you're off. Say hello. Do it. Rock out. Woo! Rock out. This came into a mine in a couple of years ago, so this is great. You gotta get a photo up here. So four feet eight inches. Oh, there's his head. 
you guys look like you're BF. <laughs> now it's time for beautiful charcuterie plate to go with our wine. Look at this great space. This is Cinnamon. She's a legend here. Not only because of her good attitude, but check out her horns. Mm. So she's honored and is in the VIP room.